Hello and welcome to This Week in the Studio! I'm Amy Nicole and I'm coming to you this week from gray and very steamy South Texas. And I'm wearing my Roxy Trio! Yay! I'm so excited to finally have this pattern out into the world. It's one of those patterns that really was just like consuming my brain. I was so excited to release it. Um, ever from the moment I had the idea for it with the layering and the reversing and the mixing and matching I'm so so excited and it seems like everybody really loves it so that is that just it warms my heart to know that something that I believed in thought of created spent a lot of time on is really being um, appreciated and embraced by the sewing community. It's really just more than I could ask for. It's amazing. So thank you so, so much um, for supporting me on this journey and encouraging me um, as I continue to move forward and release more patterns. I, I seriously, I could not have done it without you guys and I appreciate it so, so much. Now, on to the fun stuff. This week, I finally finished this, well, almost finished, this Buckaroo Bobbins uh, frock coat. This is a vintage um, Western wear pattern company, and this is the frock coat that I'm making for a client. All I need to do is do the buttonholes and then the buttons, and then um, on the buttons on the sleeves as well. Those buttons came in this week, so I will be putting those on. And hopefully, I'm hoping that when he comes and picks it up, he doesn't mind me taking some pictures of him, so we'll see. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I think the, the ribbon turned out pretty good um, as far as the piping goes. Um, I've never done this technique before, so I was pretty pleased with the outcome. My welt pockets are looking nice. I have a welt pocket on the inside here. Um, my vent looks pretty good. I'll, I'll try to do a full video about this with some close-up pictures. Um, here's the back. I need a steamer or something. <laughs> this thing like... I don't I guess I don't have the proper hanger so it just wrinkles and I don't really I don't like pre over pressing it so anyways overall I'm very happy with it um, it's a brushed cotton twill so it will wrinkle but I don't know I still have some I don't know how to get that out anyways <laughs> that's my Buckaroo Bobbins frock coat. So excited to have that pretty much done. As you can see, it needs some last minute zhuzhing. Um, but I'm very happy with the outcome. He came and did a fitting a while back and everything looked great. So I went ahead and moved forward with finishing it up. I can't wait for him to see the final product. I hope he loves it. Um, yesterday, you've probably seen my happy dance and my Instagram stories. I finished this Mintu tank from Named Clothing. Um, I've been wanting to make this tank since it came out. I love a swingy silhouette, as you can tell. Um, so I am super excited to have this done. I just whipped this up in an afternoon. Um, yesterday afternoon, this is a jersey that I bought from someone's D stash and it was so long ago that I don't remember who it was. So if it was you, thank you very much. This is what I made out of it. Super cute. Um, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I was nervous about, I mean, I get kind of nervous sewing knits anyways, still after all this time, but I was nervous about the whole facing aspect and these these corners here making those look nice but I think I did a pretty good job um, I did something fun with the print and did it off grain on the side so it's a little mixy matchy there this is so comfortable um, if you're looking for a quick and easy make I literally made this in like 
hour or two. Um, I highly recommend this. It's comfortable. It's loose fitting. Um, it's great for summer. I made it and immediately wore it out to dinner. So um, I will of course have a more extensive post about this, but I just wanted to show you guys since I just finished it and I'm so excited about that. On the cutting table, um, next up is my Jessica dress. I had um, this fabric. This is from Fibers to Fabric on Etsy. Um, we're doing a little collaboration. So they sent me some fabric and it is cotton, um, it's Indian cotton. I would, I would describe it as a wall or a lawn. It's so soft and so lightweight and it's block printed in their studio in India. It's beautiful. Um, if you're looking for something really special, go on their website. I'll make sure to link it below. They have so many amazing um, floral prints. If you love florals like I do, um, they have a great selection. And I was a little nervous that when it got here, it would be stiff since it's, you know, that block printing and it's cotton. I thought it would be more like the African wax prints, but it's not at all. It's so, so soft, especially after I did a pre-wash. Um, the quality is great. The print is beautiful. It's so soft. Um, so be sure to go check them out if you're looking for something special. And actually their prices really aren't that bad for the quality and what it is. Um, it does take a little while to get to you depending on where you are because it is shipping from India, but um, it's beautiful. I believe this colorway, this specific print colorway of this print is sold out, but they do have it um, with the navy background, which I was very torn between and a burgundy background, which is also very beautiful. So um, go check them out. And I put, when I got this, I posted on my Instagram stories that I was wanting to make a dress, but I wasn't really sure what to make. I was thinking about doing that Vogue um, 9253 or 90, whatever, the really cute one with the V and the drop sleeve and it's flowy and beautiful. Um, I thought about doing that. I was worried when this print it would look, um, I would look like a couch, but uh, it turns out that I didn't quite have enough fabric. The, this, this fabric is very narrow, so keep that in mind. Um, I believe it's 35 inches wide. Um, so even with the two and a half yards that I ordered, I, I would not have had enough to do that. So I scrapped that idea. Um, I had a couple other ideas and then someone suggested to me the Jessica dress. So back to the Jessica dress. And as, as soon as they suggested it, I was like, duh, that dress is amazing. And I've been seeing a lot of similar ready to wear dresses in that style that I just die over. So um, I'm gonna do the Jessica dress. This pattern is free from Mimi G, which is awesome. All you have to do is subscribe to her newsletter. Um, I will link to that below. And it's adorable little sweetheart neck with buttons down the front. Really big pockets. You know I love big pockets. Um, I did make a adjustment. I'm going to do a little bit of hacking. I thought about doing the hack where um, there's like a tie in the front, which I might do at a later version. But for this one, I wanted to kind of keep it a little more simple. And um, but when I see this dress on a lot of people, it seems very like like there's just a lot of stuff right here and um, if you know me I don't like a lot of stuff so um, and I'm not a fan of the sweetheart um, thing so I am coming down a little bit doing more of a straight line instead of the sweetheart thing and I ordered these adorable buttons from Arrow Mountain and I cannot wait till they come in um, this is gonna be really cute oh the other hack I'm doing is I'm doing the tie sleeves. So I just cut four sleeves instead of, I mean sleeves, straps instead of two and I'm just going to do ties on those. So, so excited. I think this is going to be like a new favorite summer dress. Um, I have a pile of samples cut out for my Honey Darling Etsy shop. 
most of this is Roxy tanks. So if you're interested in purchasing a Roxy tank and don't really want to make one yourself, I will have those in my shop um, soon. I don't know about the end of this week. And then the top one is a new style I'm sampling and we'll see how that goes. So new stuff coming to the Honey Dollar Island shop. Very excited about that because I've been just kind of like letting that simmer while I've been working on pattern stuff. So I'm excited to get some new stuff in that shop and it's starting to pick up a little bit of momentum which is very exciting. So that is another thing that is on the cutting table. Those two things will hopefully get tackled pretty big this week. Um, one more note about the Roxy Trio. If you have any questions about the Roxy, I am going to be doing a live Q&A on Instagram on Wednesday. That is the 20th, Wednesday the 20th. So um, it'll be around 12 noon central time. So if you can't join me live, don't worry, because I'm going to take questions in advance. So I will still answer your question, and then the video will be posted in um, on my story, and then I'll probably try to post it here if I can figure out how to do that. So um, live Q&A about the Roxy. If you have any questions about the Roxy, about my pattern process in general, leave them below. I'm also going to be taking questions on Instagram. Um, so I will be answering your questions about the Roxy Trio. If you can join me live, that would be awesome. Um, and you can just, if it doesn't have to be about the Roxy Trio, you can ask me questions about what I eat for breakfast. I don't care. Um, so I will see you guys Wednesday at noon central time live on Instagram stories. Um, also look out for a tester roundup on the blog this week for the Roxy Trio. Very excited to show you all my lovely testers and what they made. Thank you so much for joining me this week in the studio. Have